after introducing the concept of electrochemical cell, we'll now talk about so-called half-cell reaction and the overall or so-called full-cell reactions for a ele given electrochemical cell. So electrochemical reaction, once, as we said, an electrochemical cell is formed or constructed either intentionally or naturally, just like for corrosion of metals, intentionally, like you make a battery out of copper and zinc and the corresponding salts, the electrochemical reactions might happen and in a certain way. Okay? Still, let's take a look at the copper zinc essentially battery. We have two electrodes, zinc metal and copper metal, inserted into a single solution that contains dissolved zinc chloride and copper chloride, aqueous solution. And the electrolyte would be this aqueous solution that contains zinc chloride and copper chloride. And the electro zinc chloride and copper chloride dissolved in water to form positively charged ions such as zinc ion, copper ion, and as well as negatively charged ions like chlorine ion. And uh, the electrode, zinc metal and copper metal, they conduct, conduct primarily electrons. And uh, zinc metal and copper metal can be connected through an external circuit with effective resistance of REXT, external resistance. Of course, under open circuit voltage condition, open circuit condition, this REXT goes towards infinity. So this is our electrochemical cell. And when we have such a cell, we, the overall electrochemical reaction might proceed. And for any electrochemical reaction, it actually consists of two so-called half-cell reaction. Any overall reaction contains typically two so-called half-cell reactions. Sometimes people just say two half reactions. And one, the overall reaction always involves two part one part occurs at one of the electrode at the interface between the electrode and the electrolyte to be precise we one of the half cell reaction would be called reduction or cathodic half cell reaction cathodic reaction means it's the reduction is happening. Reduction means a species is getting electron and get reduced. For example, the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction for this electrochemical cell would be copper two plus ion plus two electron to become copper zero or copper metal, which means the copper ion from the solution combine with electron from the copper electrode and deposit onto the copper electrode. Okay, this is one of the half cell reaction and because it's reduction, we also call it cathodic half cell reaction. On the other hand, another half cell reaction we would call oxidation half cell reaction or anodic half cell reaction. And in the, for this copper zinc battery or copper zinc electrochemical cell, the zinc metal becomes zinc ion and the release electron, release two electrons. This reaction, in this so-called half cell reaction, the zinc metal got oxidized, released electron to and become zinc ion. The valence increase for this anodic 
half cell reaction. Okay. So for such an electrochemical cell, we have two half cell reaction, cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. And then the so-called overall or full cell, full means complete cell reaction in comparison to the half cell reaction. To get that, you would need to combine the two half cell reaction, combine the reduction or cathodic half cell reaction and the oxidation or anodic half cell reaction and when you combine them make sure you want to read to yourself eliminate electrons in the formula okay so when you combine the cathodic or reduction half cell and the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction and with the special attention to eliminate the electrons in the formula then you would end up with the full cell reaction or overall electrochemical reaction. So let's still look at here. We have the cathodic half cell reaction, copper ion plus electron to become copper metal. We have the anodic half cell reaction, zinc metal gives out electron and becomes zinc ion. And to combine them, you just need to add the left side with the left side right side with the right side so copper ion plus zinc plus two electron equals to copper metal plus zinc ion plus two electron and of course from left and right the two electrons got cancelled and that's our overall electrochemical reaction or the so-called full cell reaction Okay, let's pause for a moment. Remind yourself for both the so-called full cell reaction and for each of these half cell reaction, based on what we learned in chemistry, they must satisfy mass balance, which means the, the mass or the weight of species on, must be balanced on both sides. And at the same time, both the full cell and each of the half cell reaction have to satisfy charge balance. So let's look at each one of them. For the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, the mass is, is it balanced? Well, it is because we have one copper atom on the left side and one copper atom on the right side the electron mass quite often we can neglect so the mass is balanced what about charge on the left side we have two plus for the copper ion but we also have two electrons negatively charged so overall on the left side we have zero charge and on the right side we have copper metal which is also zero charge free so this cathodic or reduction half cell reaction satisfy both mass and charge balance. Now look at uh, the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. What about the mass balance? On the left side we have one zinc metal and on the right side we have also one zinc atom. So it is balanced in terms of mass. What about charge? On the left side it's zinc metal atom, zero valence, zero net charge. On the right side is zinc two plus, but there's also two electron, two minus charge. Char so the overall is zero charge, neutral. Okay, so we also got charge balance for the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. Then when you combine these two, add it left plus left, right plus right and the electron got cancelled out we get this overall a full cell reaction and let's check mass how many zinc atom on the left one how many zinc atom on the right one how many copper atom on the left one how many copper atom on the right one so you see it is still mass balanced what about charge on the left side 
the net charge is 2 plus positive 2. On the right side, the net charge is also positive 2. So you see both the mass and charge are balanced for this overall and full cell reaction. So that's what you want to do. You want to, to get the overall of full cell reaction, you want to add up the two half cell reaction, the cathodic half cell and the anodic half cell, the reduction half cell and the oxidation half cell. And then when you add these two together, make sure that the charge is balanced and uh, the mass is also balanced. And uh, when you add, also make sure that uh, the electrons are eliminated in this addition process. And it's what we mentioned here. So now we have the full cell reaction as well as the two half cell reaction for this electrochemical cell, or in this case, a zinc uh, copper battery. You may ask, what is the difference between electrochemical reaction versus general chemical reaction? Well, if you pay attention, it always involves oxidation and reduction or change of valence. You see, here for the cathodic, the copper 2 plus combined with electron becomes copper metal. Okay, the valence change for copper. And uh, for the anodic half cell or the oxidation half cell, the zinc metal gives out electron becomes zinc ion. That's also change of valence. Okay, so electrochemical reaction always involve change of valence, whether you look at half cell or look at the full cell. But a general chemical reaction may not involve the change of valence. For example, the uh, sodium chloride, when it dissolves in water, it, there is no change in valence and uh, the precipitation types of reaction between um, chloride ion and the silver ion to form silver chloride, there's also no change in the valence. Another feature for electrochemical reaction is electron must go from the anode where oxidation occurs through an external circuit, at least for a short distance to the cathode where reduction occurs. So here, remember, we have zinc metal inserted, copper metal inserted together into a solution. Okay, and when zinc got oxidized to become zinc ion dissolved into the solution, it released electron, and that electron, remember, cannot go through the electrolyte solution. It has to go through the external circuit, go through this external resistance, REXT, into the copper electrode, and then at the interface between the copper electrode and the electrolyte to combine with copper 2 plus ion to become copper metal and got deposited onto the copper metal. So this is another feature. The electron that is released from the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction always have to go through an external circuit. Sometimes this external circuit could be the material itself, but it has to go. And then through the external circuit to the other electrode where the reduction happens. Okay? So th this is another important feature, and this is very different from, let's say, the gas phase reaction between hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas. If for combustion or sometimes explosion, though the electron released by hydrogen got combined with oxygen directly to form water, and there's no obvious external circuit, unlike here. We the electron released from one material, one electrode, the cathode has, anode has to 
goes through the external circuit and uh, combine with species to deposit onto the other or cathode electrode.